Silent Hill 2 Remake hasn't even been out for a month, yet there are rumors and speculation about even more Silent Hill remakes on the way from Bloober Team, and we are going deep into them. We're diving into these rumors beyond just the surface level, looking at statements from Konami and Bloober Team's publicly announced projects that reflect this rumor. Plus, let's have ourselves a discussion on which Silent Hill remakes should follow the incredible success that has been Silent Hill 2 Remake. None of these rumors have been confirmed, so take that information with grains of salt, my friends. But I just wanted to put it out there that while no further Silent Hill remakes have been confirmed as of now, there are many indicators, including from Konami themselves, suggesting that we will absolutely be getting more Silent Hill remakes in the future, and you wouldn't be so crazy to think that Bloober Team may be involved in them. Smash that like button if you'd like to see more Silent Hill remakes in the future, and comment down below which Silent Hill game you think should release first after Silent Hill 2 Remake. And with that, let's first address this rumor. On October 12th this year, just a few days after the launch of Silent Hill 2 Remake, a post on X by Planeta PlayStation mentioned that a remake of Silent Hill 3 was in development. Here is the translation from its original Spanish post, indicating a few things related to this upcoming project. The codename for Silent Hill 3 Remake suggests that it goes by the codename Project H, and would follow the style and presentation of Silent Hill 2 Remake, which we can interpret as utilizing an over-the-shoulder perspective and systems utilized in the remake we just got for Silent Hill 2. The third bullet point suggests that there will be an increased focus on survival horror in Silent Hill 3 Remake with a more solid narrative. Finally, the post concludes by stating that Konami wants the Silent Hill IP to have a larger presence, suggesting that further remakes, like this Project H, would help further garner interest in the Silent Hill franchise. Alright, now, first things first. This is just a rumor and there really isn't any credibility here that suggests that any of this pertains to specifically a Silent Hill 3 remake. Any of these bullet points listed could simply pertain to any number of Silent Hill games that could get a remake, so take all this with grains of salt. But I'd like to mention there are two bullet points here that are actually confirmed from both Konami and Bloober Team to be true. The final bullet point about Konami wanting the Silent Hill IP to have a larger presence is 100% accurate, as we previously reported in videos past that Konami did mention their goals of seeing not only their Metal Gear franchise see growth, but also their Silent Hill franchise, confirming in their 2023 fiscal year statement that remakes, yes plural, are in development for the Silent Hill franchise. Given the incredible success of the Silent Hill 2 remake thus far, breaking sales records for the series, and generating tons of interest in this once stagnant franchise, it's a no-brainer that we will see more remakes of the earlier games to further Konami's goal of making Silent Hill's presence even bigger. All right. Let's cover that second bullet point that is also confirmed to be true, and this relates to the existence of Project H. And guess what? That pertains to the folks at Bloober Team, my friends. Taken from Bloober Team's website earlier this year, here is a list of four projects that are said to be launched before 2027, stating that four of them are in-house projects, with three being co-developed with its partners. With Silent Hill 2 Remake already out, that leaves Project C, Project G, and, what do you know, Project H left to speculate. For those who may not have heard, Bloober Team last week officially revealed Project C's title, that being Kronos The New Dawn, their upcoming sci-fi horror title developed in-house for a launch sometime next year in 2025, adhering to what their content pipeline stated. That now leaves Project G and Project H to speculate, and considering that their content pipeline mentions that three of these projects are being co-developed, these two projects, Projects H and G, are fair game here to be Silent Hill titles. With Silent Hill 2 Remake being part of these three co-developed games, you wouldn't be wrong to think that any one of these two projects could be unannounced Silent Hill games. With Project H reflected in the rumor that Planeta PlayStation announced, you could make the argument that such a game may in fact be a Silent Hill 3 Remake. 
In previous videos, we have reported numerous times that Bluebird team has mentioned that they are open to the opportunity to remake more Silent Hill games, with their CEO even recently stating, quote, you can expect that this is not the end of the adventure with Konami, end quote. From all this, it becomes quite clear that we can expect Bluebird team and Konami linking up again for even more remakes to help further Konami's goal of making the Silent Hill franchise even larger. Based on the success of the Silent Hill 2 remake thus far, I'd consider their partnership quite successful indeed, so why not capitalize on that by remaking even more of these classic Silent Hill games, right? Alright, let's get back to Projects G and H here from Bloober Team's content development pipeline. With Project G reportedly being in the concept phase and Project H being equally vague with it now, quote, in plans, it's safe to say it will be quite some time until we see these games surface in an official reveal. And with these games slated to be released by 2027, I'd say these plans are rather ambitious for the team. Bloober Team does have several teams allocated to different projects, like what one of their teams is doing with Kronos the New Dawn, but getting away from that reveal speculation for now, what's even more peculiar is the naming convention for these projects. Project C turned out to be Kronos the New Dawn, with Project C and Kronos sharing the letter C identifier. With the naming convention established with Kronos the New Dawn, it would be logical to conclude that Projects G and H would follow that convention, right? What I'm thinking Project H refers to could actually be a Silent Hill 3 remake, as the protagonist of that game is Heather Mason, with the project potentially being known internally as Project Heather, denoting a Silent Hill 3 remake. Whether or not this reflects the current rumor as posted by Planeta PlayStation remains unclear, but seeing as this naming convention could apply to Silent Hill 3, so too could it apply to Silent Hill 1, as the protagonist's name is Harry Mason. Heck, it even applies to Silent Hill 4 The Room, as that game's protagonist is Henry Townsend. Let's keep these possibilities in mind for now, but let's briefly shift our focus over to Project G and try to deduce what that game could be. While no protagonists in Silent Hill start with the letter G, what this letter could stand for may be Gillespie, the last name of two prominent characters in Silent Hill 1. Those characters being Dahlia Gillespie and Alessa Gillespie. Lisa Garland could be another option as well. So while I'm thinking of prominent characters here that start with the letter G, my own conclusion has it that perhaps Project G could be a Silent Hill 1 remake, with Project H being a Silent Hill 3 remake. Let me know what you think in regards to this naming scheme stuff and if it has any potential to indicate what these projects are, but Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 are linked in ways that Silent Hill 2 simply is not. It certainly made sense for Bloober Team and Konami to start with Silent Hill 2, seeing as James Sunderland's story in that game was largely confined to that game, whereas Silent Hill 3 serves more as a sequel to Silent Hill 1, with Silent Hill 3's protagonist and Heather Mason being the adopted daughter of the original Silent Hill protagonist, Harry Mason. Like many Silent Hill fans have been echoing, a Silent Hill 3 remake should not exist without a Silent Hill remake being made first, and I absolutely agree with this sentiment. It is because of both the naming conventions for Bloober Team's projects and the sequel nature to Silent Hill 1 and 3 that I personally believe Project G to refer to Silent Hill 1 remake and Project H referring to a Silent Hill 3 remake. But again, share with me your thoughts about all this stuff in the comments, as it's quite interesting to try to piece together what these two mysterious Bloober projects could be. That said, while I personally would love to see Silent Hill and Silent Hill 3 get remakes next, Silent Hill 4, I think, would benefit most from a remake. Seeing that game play out in a remake with its fascinating story and witnessing your once safe haven of an apartment twist into form throughout the game would be glorious in Unreal Engine 5, hearkening back to the incredible experience we got in PT. So let's hope that we ultimately see all four Team Silent games get their due remakes in time. In the end, it's an awesome time to be a Silent Hill fan. Whether you're an older fan of the series or a new one, we've likely got some more remakes coming our way. And with two brand new Silent Hill games in development, being Silent Hill F and Silent Hill Townfall, we've got plenty to look forward to. But sound off in the comments which Silent Hill game, announced or unannounced, you are looking forward to next. And join me over in this video as we go over the incredible accomplishments of the recent Silent Hill 2 remake. That's all I got for you in this one. I'll be seeing you all real shortly in the next video.